This video is in response to a request for a tutorial on how to use GNU Plot to create an animated GIF. And if you want to read more about that, you can go, you can open GNU Plot and type help term GIF, and you can read in the help menu uh, what you need to know to to create uh, an animation using the animate option, using GIF that is. So, uh, to get started, I am going to create a Brownian motion trace uh, using Octave. Let me show you how to do that. Um, I've already done this a couple times, so let me just up arrow. I am going to use a normal random distribution whose uh, mean is 0, sigma is 1, 1024 rows and 1 column, and take the cumulative sum to get my Brownian motion trace. And then I'm going to save that to a file called temp.dat. And here is my data, temp.dat. Now, in order to create the animation, I have to use, uh, I have to play a little trick with GNU plot. Every frame of this animation is going to correspond to a row in my data file. But in order to get GNU plot to, uh, to, cor to correlate one row with a frame, I have to separate each row with two uh, blank lines. When GNU plot sees two blank lines, it thinks that the next non-zero row is the beginning of a new data file. So I'm going to use awk to do this. I'm going to say, I'm going to cap my temp.dat file into awk, and I'm going to use the printf function to print two new lines. And then I'm going to print each row. And now I have each row separated by two blank lines. But I'm also going to add a counter as well. You'll see in a moment what that does. It essentially just adds a, a, an index in, in the first column. I'm going to save that into a file called brownian.dat. And let me take a look at that file using GNU plot. So let's see. It goes from negative 35 to 5 on the y-axis and 0 to 1023, of course, on the x-axis. Okay, now the other thing that I need to do is I need to create a, uh, uh, I need to simulate a, a loop over each one of these uh, uh, non-zero rows, these quote-unquote new data files, uh, to generate a, a, a frame in my animation. And GNU plot lacks uh, as far as I know, lacks a, a satisfactory looping function to do this. So I'm going to actually do this outside of GNU plot in bash. So I'm going to say for i is equal to 0, for i is less than 1023, or 1024, sorry, i plus plus do echo i just to make sure that my There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to say, um, here's where I create my 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 command file for that I will read into GNU plot, and it's going to look like this: plot Brownian dot dat using one colon two. This means use column one of Brownian dot dat for my X variable and column two for the Y variable, and here's where I here's where I work the magic to make sure that GNU plot uh, uh, reads in the 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 next non-zero row as a new data file. So I'm going to name that new data file uh, uh, zero or one or two, etc. Uh, and so it's going to look for that non-zero row, and it's going to call that new non-zero row my new data file. So let's see how that looks. Right, okay, that's exactly what I want. And I'm going to save this now into something that I'll call gnu-animates.gp. Let's take a look inside and see if it's okay. Looks like it is. Oh, you know what I'm going to do too? I want to... Um, 
when I say that the point size is going to be 2 and the point type is going to be, uh, let's say, 3. Actually, let's say it's 6. I think that's a hollow circle. Let's look again. Okay, I think that's all right. And now I'm going to open up GNU plot. Oh, by the way, I think I made a mistake. I need to go from negative 35 to 5 on my Y range and from 0 to 1023 on my X range. So let me exit GNU plot again and put that back in. So 0 to 1023 on the X range and, uh, oh goodness, I forgot again already what that is. Negative 35 to 5. Okay. Remember this time. There we go. Now I start up a new plot. I say set term GIF animate. And I can also set the delay here too if I want. But for starters, let's not worry about that. And I say set output, I will call this just test.gif, and then I will say load the name of the file that I just created, GNU um, animates.gp, it'll take a little while, remember it's reading 1024 rows and creating 1024 frames. Okay, so let's refresh our browser. Notice I'm pointing my browser to the directory that I was doing all my work in. And here is my GIF file. And here is my GIF animation. All right, pretty exciting. So let's go back here. And what I want to do now is I'm going to set um, let me set a delay. A delay of 5. And I'll call this test2.gif. And I'll read in my data one more time. And this is what it looks like with a delay. <clears throat> well, that doesn't look like a very large delay. So let's try to add a larger delay. And I'll call this test3.shift. One more time. Now note this is actually set to loop infinitely because I have loops set to zero. I can set loop to one, two, three, etc. Um, you can read more about that in the um, in in the help window. Right. So here's a much slower delay. So in a nutshell, that is how you use GNU plot, or this is one way at least, uh, you can use GNU plot to make animations, uh, animated GIFs. Thanks a lot.